and welcome. I'm Master Lama Rasaji, and this is our Monday edition of Rasaji Speaks. I want to thank everybody for your prayers and consideration and love focused around Florida and the people of Florida. Thank you so much. Also, at the tail end of the storm, uh, we had a good celebration with uh, Miss Mita's birthday and uh, a 20 year wedding celebration. I want to thank everybody that come. Uh, quite a few people came from around the country and from COC, and we sure appreciate it. And thank you so much for family members and everything. And we're very gracious. Uh, how everything turned out and uh, the people who really helped out like sister Emmy and planner uh, Francesca um, ocean one or get feedback from ocean one and uh, very well could end 2025 on the ocean and ocean uh, one, which is going to be very close. It looks like to our first wellness center that will be opening, which would only about, five to 10 miles south of Ocean One, which will be pretty exciting to see. Also, tomorrow is the last day, or I should say today really is the last day. Sometime tomorrow, the early bird special will go up $100. And if that doesn't mean anything to you, great. But if it does, you might want to get in there if the column exercise and the Holy Spirit's told you you need to be in Music City, USA with Dr. Preston hosting. It's going to be something spectacular. I can assure you there's always surprises at the next tour. No tour is ever quite like the same tour. And one thing you can always guarantee is they get better and more powerful each and every day. So don't hesitate. And click on, go to a Circle of Chi. Our new website's working like the bomb. Thank you again, Brother Andy and John and Nate and all his people for all your help and input. Today's lesson is a very interesting one. Conscious Click, Mindful Tech Habits for Today's Busy People. Well, when you get into chapter eight of the circle of chi we start talking about human relationships do you have any do you have any quality human relationships right and a lot of time it's technology that's the problem we don't seem to want to get a hell i wouldn't be surprised now to watch people laying in bed and seeing their laptop or their cell phones laying next to them as they fall asleep i mean we're going to turn technology into our significant other if we're not careful right but you can use it to inspire a holistic spiritual life what i have myself to is i set my phone i probably have about five alarms a day that reminds me lamaji you need to shift right that's something that i do and I do that because the first relationship you want to be able to have is in the morning with Abba or Indra. And that moment that's very important to start your day with the Heavenly Father. That is extremely, extremely important, right? If I have important webinars or Zooms coming up in the day, and I know I'm multitasking. I mean, I'm a Gemini, for God's sakes, right? I'm a monkey Gemini. I'm a fire monkey Gemini. I got my buddy with me today, as you can tell. So I want to be reminded of things. I'm focused on my list to do. I've got columns. I've got half a dozen books that I run our businesses out of. We have three viable businesses and we're starting two to three more in 25. The wellness center will get launched, but probably not kicking over. We'll pick up that first ranch right now before the end of the year, but we really won't be able to call it a viable business till about midway through 2025. 
And that's two others on top of it. So you better believe Lama G's got a book on everyone, everything that I need to. But during the day, there's about five or six moments that I need to plant and then go in a different way, in a different thing. And that phone, that alarm goes off to remind me of that. Those are important things I do. That's using technology consciously. One of the most main things that I do, and you'll love this, this is very Dallas. I use technology to get me the hell away from technology during the day. That's why usually after about five or six o'clock, I don't answer a phone call. Later into the night, I don't answer a text. It's not too far away from me, but unless it's emergency, and Mita knows that if it's emergency, she knows to alert me. A lot of times I know before anybody texts me or not. Christ's sake, I'm the llama, right? What do you think? So I have a built inner GPS that most people don't even conceive what that is. But you can use technology to adhere to a holistic, balanced spiritual life. We should seek balance. We want all nine chapters in the circle of Chi to be balanced, right? Even with the 45-day renewal, that's a 30 to 45-minute commitment for 45 days. You're going to be using technology during that time. But later in the day, technology should tell us to get the heck away from technology and shut down. Going back to chapter eight, when I'm out with people, a lot of times I'll either leave my phone in my bag. If it's maybe a cooler day, I might lock it up in my car, right? I might go into a restaurant and shut it down, especially if I'm meeting with like Brother Nate or one of my children, they need to know that I am fully, fully present. You know, our Heavenly Father, the Christ itself is fully present. Archangel Michael and Gabriel and Raphael, when they're with us, our guardian angel, they are fully present 24-7. They're right there. As humans learning to consciously work with the angelic kingdom, spiritual warriors like this avatar behind me, Hunnaman, you want to respect and show the avatars and the angels that you mean business when it comes to spirituality. There's a great adjective that I've always loved in scriptures that talks about the quality of the Holy Spirit, what it gives us. And it gives us the promises that Jesus said. First promise is peace. And Tai Chi Gong and Om Shante mean both, give power to peace. Got to set aside some time to do that, use technology to guide you and to work with you, right? But there's a really important thing for us to understand is to let the avatars and the angels and our divine mother, heavenly father, see that when we shift, we do it unadulterated. We do it unconditionally. And we give of ourselves for that 30 minutes to an hour to only thee. And really, when it comes down to it, who are we giving to? We're giving to the divine that's in that person. We're acknowledging the energy and light. If it's powerful enough, to raise Lazarus from the dead, to raise Jesus from the dead. It's powerful enough if you give it attention 
and you learn how to fan the flames of inspiration, you can bring forth the most conscious being out of the most unconscious situation. And buddy, howdy, my friends, my brothers and sisters, that is truly a miracle. It's truly a miracle. God bless you all. See you tomorrow on Tuesday's edition of Rasaji Speaks. Remember, get moving on Nashville and get that good price. God bless you. See you soon. Bye-bye.